Hey everybody, this is Mick Ferry from Mick Ninjas, and I'm joined by Mick Leprechaun. And uh, we're going to be talking Pokemon today. But before we get started, I just want to give all of our viewers a shot here. There's a Shiny Rayquaza event uh, started August 12th, and it's going to be going to September 14th, 2015. So if you want to get your hands on that, you know, go ahead and check out the event. And today we're going to be talking Pokemon. Pretty much we're going to talk about if the games are harder or if we perceive them as being more difficult. So what's up, Mick Leprechaun? How you been? Oh, uh, I've been doing okay. I'm ready to talk Pokemon. Sweet. So yeah, I mean, th this kind of pertains to like the playing of Pokemon Red, you know, because you, you and I played those at the same time. Yeah, I mean, we've we've probably played Pokemon Red more than 100, 200 times by now. You know, when, when you're growing up and you have a game that you really like, you just sit there and play it over and over and over again, even if you have 100 other games. And, he, and even though it only had one quest, I do remember starting that over. But yeah, I mean, as, essentially, I remember thinking, because I, I was thinking back about Pokemon Red more recently, because I've got a, um, I've got this awesome thing for my GameCube where I, I can dock it on top of this little device that lets me play Pokemon Red on my TV. So, of course, being the supreme enthusiast I am for playing everything on a backlit screen for once, I hooked that up and decided I was going to play Pokemon Red again. I remember it being very tedious in certain places. Like, I remember it being a little bit more difficult. And so I was wondering if, if you felt the same, if that game was actually more difficult for you to play or if the newer ones have, have a, a difficulty that's that's more difficult <laughs> i was i was waiting to see what you said there i would say that because i've played pokemon red and yellow and you know blue so many times if i went back to play it now which i have played it again i think that it's easier because i know so much about it but it also seems a little bit harder at the same time when you're playing through some of the newer games you have nurses just like as a random trainer and so you fight them and then you can heal your pokemon and then you can go back and heal again whenever you want to and so that was really helpful with some of the newer games but in the older pokemon maybe it was a little bit shorter but it really felt a little bit more difficult when you got stuck somewhere like when i first played it and i got stuck in uh, the rock tunnel with you know without flash so i couldn't see anything because i didn't know where to find it you actually have to go look for that hm which is no longer an hm anymore oh that's right oh, i i guess that passed me by i didn't even realize yeah and the other thing that i really had a kind of a hard time with in the first few games was like you get the earthquake tm and that's like you know when you're a little kid you're excited it's like the strongest one right you can only use it once <laughs> yeah yeah exactly but with the newer games you can use them over and over and over again so for me I feel like those were the things that sort of made the older Pokemon just a little bit harder. And some of the older games, not just uh, Red, but like Crystal, which is my favorite, Ruby and Sapphire, you know. And those games were really long. Uh, they had a lot of content, which was really nice. I think that's probably why uh, the nurses were kind of needed. So it was so much longer because I do remember that Pokemon Red wasn't nearly as long. Like, I, I think my litmus test for a long game was Pokemon Black because that one was pretty long. The the thing that I actually had uh, the most trouble with as a kid, and I, I, I remember this making me very mad, was the fact that when I was training, once once my Pokemon got to a certain level, I, I literally had to spend hours just murdering Weedles to get, like, two guys to level up, you know, and I, I, okay, it wasn't like Weedle specifically, but you know what I mean? You're like stuck out in the middle of the woods and you're trying to get your Pokemon to level up because we didn't have this wonderful thing where the XP share shared with the whole party. It shared with the guy holding it and whoever was the first Pokemon in your team. So it took longer, I think, to level because you had to specify like that who was going to hold it and then who was the next guy you were going to have as your starter and then who's the next guy who's going to hold it. I think uh, leaving somebody at the daycare center was like almost a revelation because there's one Pokemon you don't have to train. Yeah, but at the same time, when you left it at the daycare center, if it learned a new move, it would just overwrite whatever move was already there even if it was the one you wanted to keep. And so I never left my Pokemon at the daycare centers. Yeah, I, I think I left a couple there. Um, but I, I, I honestly, I, I probably didn't care about them too much because if I cared about them, they'd be on my team. <laughs> you know, everybody's got their favorite. But yeah, I mean, that, I think that's some aspects of what made that a little bit more difficult. Um, another thing was uh, the, the prevalence of items in recent games. Uh, and, and maybe this is just me. Again, I, I was younger uh, when I played uh, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Yellow. 
I guess the perception of items when I was a kid, I, I didn't really know how to use them until I'd played the game a couple of times. Well, yeah, and there there were no held items in the first game. There were some in the uh, in the next game, but even then, it was stuff like the quick claw, which just every once in a while you would be faster than your opponent. Well, because we're we're both used to different types of RPGs where you have equipment, you put that equipment on, and it's a plus whatever to this stat all the time. And with Pokemon, that confused us. It wasn't like here's ten more agility points. No, it's just once in a while you'd be faster than your opponent. This will work sometimes. Congratulations. Yeah, and it was a random thing. And and that's actually something I really like about Pokemon, the random element. You know, once in a while there's a critical hit. But with the newer games, you can actually increase that rate for in-game play with uh, by making your Pokemon very happy with the Pokemon Ami stuff. Oh, yeah. And and that, that was actually another thing that I think has has made the games a little bit e easier, more accessible to play. Way back in the day, if you wanted to make your Pokemon happy, I mean, you had to go through all these things. I think uh, I had a Riolu. Of course, this isn't in Pokemon Red, but the, as an example, I, I had a Riolu who um, I, I wanted to make happy because, you know, he only evolves when he's happy. So I gave him a soothe bell and I took him to a lady to give him a massage every day. And I had to let him not get KO'd, of course, and take him into battle all the time and, and so on and so forth. So I had to do all these extra things. And now I can just like pop him into Pokemon on me, pet him on the head, feed him some uh, Poke Puffs, and lo and behold, he has evolved. Yeah, it's, it's a lot easier making your Pokemon happy. And when the second game came out and you could get Espeon and Umbreon, first of all, I could never figure it out. <laughs> As a kid, I'm like, I really want Espeon or Umbreon, but the, you know, the Dawnstone doesn't work and, and the Deathstone doesn't work. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> It was. It wasn't necessarily difficult. It's just I didn't. Under, I didn't know what was happening because also back in the day, we didn't really have access to the internet to look things up. Oh no! Like the, now. Now we're going way far back. Um, the closest thing around was DSL from school computers. And on top of that, these things were a lot of these websites were also in their infancy, so they weren't very helpful because uh, again, you know, people had to know this stuff in order to actually post it. And of course, you know, uh, Nintendo wasn't really helpful. They didn't say, "Hey, this is how you evolve these guys." They're like, "Here's a new Pokemon. Figure it out." Well, and of course, they had the strategy guides that you could buy, but we never bought strategy guides. <laughs> no. Well, and I, I again, I think that comes down to. To, you know letting it surprise you but there's also a difference between surprise and then just irritation because you've been doing everything you possibly can and nothing's working and then one day just out of the blue you get an Umbreon because it just happens to be nine o'clock at night and he's really freaking happy but yeah so I mean I, I think with the introduction of some of these things like you could say that it made the games harder as you go along because now you have more more hoops you got to jump through to make people evolve you know like what with Malamar you have to turn the freaking 3DS over it's like you get a Metal Gear moment you know how do I figure that out without use of the internet it's a Metal Gear moment but one thing I have to say is is that older games were also easier because there were only 151 Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, like if you want to get a nat if you want to get your Pokédex filled up, it wasn't impossible. Yeah, and uh, the the thing that that I was really meaning with this is that like if you started with Bulbasaur, you would have your Grass type Pokemon that's really good in the game, and then you can go and catch Growl Life Flayer, or you can catch something else. And then there's also Gyarados if you want a good Water type. You you don't have to look that hard to find the right Pokemon to fit your team. When there's 718 or whatever, you have to look pretty hard to find the one that you think is going to work for your team the best. You know, so w when it comes to the first game versus this newest game, and I'm not going to go with uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I'm going to go with X and Y. There was a place in X and Y where you could go and get money. Uh, you could go to fight the, fight the rich people and get money, and you could use your, your O powers to power you up and yeah, get more money. That's all I used it for. And in the in the first game, you just had the trainers that gave you the money. You couldn't fight the trainers again. Well, and you, you didn't really make a lot of money off the trainers either because uh, in recent games, I've been making like, you know, a uh, $1,000 off of like the rich old lady I just beat up. Um, and like <laughs> in the old game, you know, you ran into the kid on the side of the road and you had a battle and you got like, you know, maybe 50. Yeah, and 
But we also have the amulet coin, which is another held item that you can use now. With that plus your O powers, it's insane. And so there's that, and then there's also the experience share, which shared with all of your Pokemon, so you didn't have to worry about leveling any one particular one up. Which honestly, I, I personally actually enjoy that. Yes, I enjoy it as well. Because again, with... Because with it makes it easier, <laughs> that's why I like it. <laughs> yeah, with the other games being more difficult, this was actually one of the things that would drive me around the twist. I'd get my first two guys all leveled, and I'd be feeling pretty good about myself, and I'd have two strong Pokemon. On, and then the rest of my team is is a bunch of crap so i'd have to go and i'd have to do the whole switching around and getting everybody up to level and so i would spend a lot of time in these areas for training again i was using weedle as an example because essentially i ran into a lot of those as a kid to a point where i viridian forest the very first place basically pretty much and i was just like okay well i am i am done i'm done with this little bastard i'm gonna move on <laughs> and if you chose charmander at the beginning you could not defeat Brock. No, and I remember that. In choosing your starter, you could actually make the game significantly more difficult for yourself uh, back in the day. Because nowadays, there's so many Pokemon, and you have so many opportunities to catch Pokemon that, that really kind of round out your team in the beginning. And of course, you know, you start off with a lot of grass types, but then you get a lot of normal types that have abilities to get different move types depending on, you know, what they're going to evolve into and, and, you know, what status they've been. They've been newly branded with, so I know a lot of this stuff kind of changed, but... Back in the day, when everything was just, uh, you know, you're either fire, grass, or water, you're not fire flying, or grass, water, lightning, ghost, and psychic, and, you know, impossible to punch. Which I, and actually, that, that was the thing, too, uh, with ghost Pokemon, I thought, wow, these are so difficult, because I can't punch it at all. Yeah, you could only use uh, special moves. There, there was a couple other things, like back in the day, there wasn't a special attack and a special defense. It was just special. I think that's actually one of the things that made it a little bit easier because your special defense and your special attack were the same number. So Pokemon that had a high special attack, I believe, also had a high special defense because of that, which uh, made a couple things a little bit easier. But no, the, the Elite Four was still pretty hard, so... Yeah, yeah. I, I remember coming up to the Elite Four, and... Honestly, I, I think in recent games they are easier because I, and, and, you know, of course I was, I was a little kid back then, so they were a little bit more intimidating. I really do feel like they're easier because when I, when I came in uh, X and Y to beat them, I ran over them. Like, uh, I almost didn't even have to try. I think it was like maybe three in the morning and I was almost asleep and I wiped out the Elite Four on my first go and I didn't use any items. I didn't have to heal anybody, nothing. And I, I think I only used two Pokemon in my team and they weren't downloaded. They weren't downloaded specials, but yeah. So, I mean, it, it was definitely, I think, I think it was definitely more difficult as a kid because again, you didn't get special download Pokemon back then either, because again, what we were talking about with the internet being, being in its infancy, not everybody had it in their homes. We didn't have it. We couldn't download a Pokemon. And the only way to get them back then was from very exclusive special events. And they're so exclusive that you know you had to look it up on nowhere else you had to look had it up them. on the internet where to find it <laughs> <laughs> yeah no. yeah it was so exclusive that you had to look it up on the internet and if you didn't have internet well sorry I mean, you just had to trade with friends and that was sort of the the reason behind pokemon was you know getting involved with your friends and trading and fighting and and uh even now i think it's a little bit better now but uh, so let's just uh let's just sort of do a little review the first few games the reason why we think that they were a little bit harder was that we didn't really have held items to worry about. We didn't have anything that, uh, like the choice spec stuff that, you know, makes you can only choose one move or whatever, and you can, and it does a lot more damage, or the uh, life orb, which takes away some of your life and you do more damage, and the experience share didn't share experience with everybody. It was just harder to get money. You had to actually look for everything, because it was a little bit more like an old school RPG where there were puzzles and and the hidden items were actually hidden like you know uh we could we could walk up anywhere now and see a pokeball in the woods and go oh hey let's go pick that up well well and there was the item finder now that's really actually decent now oh yeah the, dow <laughs> yeah, the dowsing machine or the dowsing yeah. rod it's not called the item finder i'm sorry <laughs> yeah no it, there's there's the dowsing machine now and back then sometimes you just had to hit hit a a bunch and just <laughs> he's had to keep keep pressing the button until you found something and so the, the other thing that we think was a, a big influencing factor on making these newer games easier, first of all, were the doctors and nurses that were situated everywhere for you to heal. And 
the fact that if you played with Pokemon Ami, you could get your Pokemon to like you. They would do more damage sometimes. Uh, like there's a higher critical hit ratio. There's there's a higher chance of oh yeah, a higher chance of dodging. I believe you can also yeah, you can also get like more experience, and it'll heal sleeping faster and par paralyzation and all that stuff. And you didn't have Pokemon abilities. You didn't have any of that stuff, and so. It made the games just maybe not like much, much harder, but it made the games just 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 more difficult to figure out and more difficult to fight everything. And yeah, because I, I would have to run back to the back to the Pokemon Center if I wanted to heal. So in the middle of the dungeon, I have I have 10 HP left and I'm running all the way back to the Pokemon Center, you know, <laughs> and what I hated was that, you know, I, I didn't. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that I was at the end of the tunnel, but I was already dying. And so I thought I thought I could just run back real quick and then. Oh, it was so annoying to run back through the tunnel <laughs> and realize that the next door you were going through was the town. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I think that to recap, you know, it, it's definitely the case that what's available now gives gives you more opportunity, I think, to not only level better, but to have a chance, you know, especially against the Elite Four, because, again, it was really hard to, to train up for that. And sometimes, you know, if you were me and you thought you were a badass and uh, then you ran up to the Elite Four having all the wrong Pokemon in your party, you'd have to go back and train up a bunch of other dudes or, you know, go back to the daycare center that you left them at, that you abandoned them at. But yeah, so I mean, I, in, in terms of difficulty, I definitely think, per my experience, that red was more difficult, yellow was more difficult, etc. Anything you want to add, Megaleprechaun? I also agree. To me, I think I think those first few games were just a little bit di more difficult than what we have now. And if you guys also have an opinion on this, you should leave a comment down below and let us know just if you agree with us or if you don't agree with us and why. I always include why. Yeah, yeah. Let us know why and, you know, what, what your favorite game or your litmus test for difficult was. But all right, you know, so thanks for uh, letting us chat at each other and chat at you guys. That was fun. And hopefully we can come back, you know, see if there's other games we want to talk about. Yeah, if there's other topics that uh, you think you'd be interested in hearing, you can also let us know about that. And before we go, guys, uh, again, don't forget Shiny Rayquaza. Uh, the event ends September 14th, 2015. So uh, pick them up whenever you get the chance. We'll see you later. All right. Have a good day.